One. Hi, my name is James Jones and this is the bench that I have made for my Year 12 woodwork project. I fully designed the bench myself and came up with a few neat features for it. It's all solid construction. This is uh, a pine species for the legs. It was all rough sawn timber um, when I got it and I've thicknessed it all down. These are tenon in with American white oak uh, cross members. The top is jarrah on this half and this half here. This is a solid slab of one inch oak and this is a oak laminate with uh, MDF oak laminate. The drawers are Burmese teak and the drawers are made uh, completely from Burmese teak, so not just the faces. I made the handles, which is a twisted iron rod. It has an aluminium edge to stop those uh, dings and nicks. As you can see, the Burmese teak, these two pieces here, are one continuous piece, so that you get nice grain flow. Uh, and now I'm going to show you some of the features of my bench. So on both ends we have clamp storage for your array of clamps and then this is the top of the bench here. Now this is my special feature that I came up with. The bench actually extends out like this. So say I need a vise. I'll just put my vice on there, like so, and then just take some of my clamps, and the gaps on the bench actually allow for my clamps to fit. So I can easily put my clamps through. No. No troubles. And clamp my vice securely to my workbench. This is great for when working on big sheets of panel. Uh, say if I had a big sheet of ply or MDF I, or even long cross beams. This is great because this way the bench is completely flat. And if I need to remove the clamps, it will come off very easily, just through the gaps, like so. And then I can store my vice away down here on this box shelf. And then, quick, easy, you can put away, and this makes for a solid surface. Now, on this half, this bench, it extends out this way. So I can work sort of a bit like a big L. I have a big L and I can work and I can clamp pieces directly to the bench. On this side, it comes out this way. If I'm working on pieces of pieces of timber. Or is good for sanding. I have a dust extraction unit here, which just mounts to the underside of this, and I can attach my shop vac directly to that. So when I'm sanding, I get good dust extraction. This again slots away. Now another good feature about my bench is this centre half can be rearranged. Say if I needed to plane a surface or an edge, this jarrah piece comes up like this. This MDF board with the uh, oak veneer is completely sacrificial, so if I scratch it up or make dents out of it, it doesn't matter. I can slide that across like that. And I'll get uh, my clamp. 
And as you can see, this gives me enough space to clamp face on to the workbench. This is obviously great for planing if I wanted to plane this edge here and I can get nice nice strokes with that and also I can put another clamp here or here. The possibilities really is quite endless. So this is my bench. I've put countless hours into making it what it is. The finish is tongue oil. It's had uh, countless coats. Uh, and it's a really solid bench. I made it custom to my height. I'm quite tall, so it's really nice having a good surface that I can work on. It's on wheels at the moment. Uh, this is solely for uh, ease of moving the bench. As you can imagine, it weighs quite a ton. Um, but its final resting place, will I will make a stand for it, and it, I'll take the wheels off, and it will sit directly flat on the stand. Um, that's pretty much everything to know. It's got a access panel in the back here, which is good for storing uh, small bits of timber or tools. Everything is my own design. This is recessed, the aluminium, so it sits nice. All the handles were made by myself. These are big tenon, tenon joints, mortise and tenon joints. And then on the upper construction here, uh, this